So this animation is going to just show how as we change the angle of the cut, we're going to change the shape of the quadratic that's generated. So if we notice that, if we cut straight through there, okay, I'm just going to grab this and you can see that as I'm cutting straight through, parallel to the, the base of that cone, we're going to get a circular cut. As I increase the angle of that cut, notice what's happening is that shape is getting more elongated. Okay, so it's becoming more and more elliptical. And as I increase that slice, notice that the shape is becoming more and more elliptical here. Okay, and we end up with this elliptical shape. If I just kind of rotate, you can kind of see the slices through, it's kind of slicing through there like that. And we get our ellipse. Okay, now as I increase that slice, it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to have to uh, just orient it again. So if I increase that slice, so that that slice is parallel to one of the edges. Okay, so there's one of the generators here. I've made the slice parallel to the generator. The shape that we're going to generate is this parabola. Okay, and the parabola is the boundary shape between an ellipse, okay, that closes up on itself. So if I do this with a slice, that's going to eventually, notice it cuts through the edge of the other cone there. So this will close up on itself as an ellipse. And as I increase the slice to a parabola, okay, that shape no longer will close up on itself. Okay? So that's the boundary shape. As I increase that cut, it's going to start cutting through the top. So once I get past the parabola, it's going to start cutting through the top of the cone, and we're going to end up with this hyperbola. Okay, so if I move it around, you can see that there's a hyper, that hyperbolic shape that's forming as I cut through that cone. Okay, there it is. There's my hyperbolic shape, and, I, and again, if I make that cut more, it's going to eventually come through the center, and I'll have the cut right to the center. So again, if I, oh, I don't know what they did with my cone there, but as I if I inc if my my cut parallel to the the generator there, let's maybe move that over. Okay, if I increase my my cut here, so my my cut is parallel to the generator here. Okay, uh, right about there. Okay, so see that how this line is parallel to this line. The shape that generates is a parabola, and again you can see that parabolic shape as I kind of rotate that around.